Hello, and welcome to Genomics 101 at Home. My name is Jason Button. I grew up in Dryden, a small town in New York. I first went to college at Cornell University for my bachelor's degree, and then I went to the University of Delaware for my master's degree. I now live in San Diego, California, and I work as a technical application scientist at a company called Illumina. A technical application scientist is just a long name for a scientist that helps other scientists around the world with their experiments. Because Illumina makes instruments to read DNA, other scientists that have questions about their experiments will call me and, we'll, and I will help them with their science. Today, we're going to start exploring the world of DNA in our own home and learn how something so small as DNA can have a gigantic impact on our world. All good science starts with a question. As young scientists, you should stay curious and continue to explore new sciences and maybe some, run some experiments of your own. You may be asking yourself, what is DNA? Where is it found? Or why should I care about it? Without questions like these, scientists would have had never explored DNA in the world around us. And the great thing about scientists is they love to share their discoveries. And by watching this video, you will learn about some of the basic foundations that make DNA so interesting. Sometimes people call me by a nickname, JB. JB is short for my real name, Jason Button. That is exactly what the letters in DNA are. They are sh a short nickname for the longer chemical name, deoxyribonucleic acid. Say that three times fast and tr or try spelling it during a spelling bee and you'll understand why scientists use a nickname. DNA is a set of instructions that are used by your body. These instructions cause differences in how you grow, the color of your hair, or even how you taste certain vegetables. To find out about DNA, let's look at where it is found. Your body and mine are made of trillions of cells. Each one of these small cells has a nucleus, a sort of dense ball that is within the cell. If you take a closer look at this nucleus, you'll find odd looking structures called chromosomes. Animals all have different numbers of chromosomes, but for humans, we have 46 chromosomes specifically. We get 23 from our mom and 23 from our dad. These chromosomes are made up of long strings of DNA, which carry the genetic information that make you, you. These strings of DNA are made up of even smaller proteins called nucleotides. The names of these nucleotides are adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. Remember, scientists are not very long-winded, so we call these nucleotides by their shorter nicknames, A, T, C, and G. Scientists call small sections of nucleotides on the DNA string genes. These genes will impact certain characteristics of you and the name gene is why the study of DNA is called genetics. Because DNA provides a recipe for your body to use, we can think of cells, chromosomes, DNA, and nucleotides in a similar fashion as your grandmother's cookbook. The nucleus contains all chromosomes, similar to recipes. In the cookbook, there will be recipes for cookies, meatloaf, and spaghetti, in a nucleus, the chromosomes are like recipes that make up different hair colors, determine if you're left-handed or right-handed, or even if you have freckles. Within that recipe, there'll be a list of ingredients and instructions on how to combine them. In the chromosome, there are long strings of DNA, genes, and nucleotides that provide the instructions for how to put together the proteins that make up your body. Thank you for watching this episode of Genomics 101 at Home. Keep an eye out for future episodes to learn more about DNA and the science of genomics.